Well, all right. Welcome back to Hogwarts. We are, in fact, inside Hogwarts with Drunken D-Monkey. We're in the Raven... Uh, we're actually in our dormitory in the Ravenclaw uh, room. Uh, the reason is, is because uh, after last episode, I decided to do a couple Merlin trials as I was looking around the menus. So I could uh, finish... Like I think I needed to finish like three trials to upgrade my gear up to... 28 slots instead of 24 we did it i got it done off camera then presented to go to uh sorry then went to hogsmeade and off some gear searched around there for a little bit uh came back to hogwarts and i found a couple more dedalion keys so i logged them in to to the house coin or the house chest which is up here Shh. come here you can't imagine how and convenient travel was before i invented flu powder if i'm counting right i only need very highly regarded shut up you're being rude uh anywho i said shut up and fungi where would you even use them all uh, anywho uh, I only need like five more of those to go, so we're gonna keep a uh, ear out for those. The keys are easy to spot or hear. You hear them, and then you gotta find them. The mini game is what sucks about it all. So, with that being said, last episode. Oh, last episode, last episode. What did we do again? Last episode. I'm sorry, I'm so forgetful a lot of times. Oh yeah, we did the Lodgok, the Goblin uh, quest. Uh, where we helped, or, or we finished it, sorry. So, we met up with uh, Lodgok outside of the Witch's Tomb. We broke through the Witch's Tomb, found all the secrets there. Ended up finding the helmet. Had to beat a bunch of dark wizards in the process. My battling could have been better because I need to assign spell slots uh, better, which I think I have something. I was looking around on YouTube for combat tips. I know, right? I'm supposed to be like putting videos out and here I am looking on YouTube for help. But no, like I just not overwhelmed. Well, you probably could say that because I did acquire a bunch of spells really fast and I really haven't taken the time to allot them in certain combinations and whatnot. Uh, so I did look up a little bit of help for like combat tips and tricks, like mainly like what I wanted to like focus on like a set of four. I did, like I said in the last video, however, make it so... When I hold R2 down, I can switch between all four D-pad and I have different slots. So I have an access to 16 spells at any given time. Uh, it's just on having the right combination with facing the right enemy. Uh, with that being said, now what we're going to do is what I think is going to happen. Uh, we got a, what was it called? Oh, an owl from Professor Weasley saying that we need to meet with Deke because we went to beast class and she asked him to help us. And I really want to know how he's going to help us in beast class because apparently I think this game is going to turn into, uh, oh, I don't want to say too much because it's kind of another franchise but we're gonna say it plays like a pokemon so i think we're gonna be able to collect creatures and take care of them like feed them pet them i don't know how it's gonna go about but that's why we must meet deke and that's what we are going to do today it's all about the beast so let's go meet deke and we are definitely flu pooing towards where we need to be at all times today. Sorry. <coughs> Deke. Ooh. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. 
Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Knapsack? What? Okay. It's a vacuum? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, <coughs> Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. <coughs> oh, yeah? Let's go. Come along, then. Oh, where are we going, buddy? Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Oh, um, yeah. Did you just float? Never mind. Anywho. Uh, we gotta check this first? Alright. Yes. What potion? I'm sorry, I'm just checking my inventory. All right, so potions, three, three, two. Okay, I wanna do the fo focus. Okay, we can make three of them. Next target on the list to farm, dug bogs, or we need to buy it, whatever. All right, got some new decorations, but I will. Oh, did we get any of these? I no. don't have anything for this at the moment. Mandrake, sweet. Since uh, I can use the disillusionment charm, I don't think I'll ever have an invisibility spell on me, unless it's required in, in game. <clears throat> that way, I can build my stealth up, like how I move around the the map oh i did do this too this was a reward from doing oh i did the honey dukes mission with uh with the three-eyed witch because when i went to talk to moon the three-eyed witch is right there it's a lengthy quest but it was worth it we got this decoration i think i did yes i bought another seed was it nope yes We'll make you. Oh, and I put that up too, just because I thought it looked cool. There's something else I wanted to put up, and I think we'll do that later. Now, we got this room all organized right now. We collected, everything's regoing. All right, Deke, let's go. No, I don't want to change the ambience. Let's do this. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. <laughs> oh, we're instantly going there? Okay. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. A nasty poacher. Dick hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. When was, it was this? those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Well, show me, my friend. Oh, is that a puff skin? <gasps> Wait a minute. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Well, how do I use it? Oh, okay. It's like, okay, all right. That's why I have this tab. So we can do this. 
Um, I'm gonna put you with X. I'm gonna put you with X. Whoops! Sorry. You got one. Can I get another one or do they all disappear? This is fun. Come here. Do come on, right, won't you? What? Oh. Leviosa. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Oh. We can farm experience doing this? Okay. Sorry, I managed I, uh... to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Oh, these house up. Why didn't you take me with you? You brought me here. Kind of. Oh, uh, anywho. Alright, so we're... Okay, so this is what this looks like. It's the paw print. Um, We're going to be fighting. Now with this, if I'm going to be hunting these things... Let's do this. This. And this. That's for this is for hunting. I have to remember this. Um, we're gonna be fighting. We'll do this to start. <clears throat> no, this to start. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not that far, huh? Oh no, it is. Ooh, it's the Merlin trial. Oh, we can always fly, too. I forgot about that. Alright, let's see if we can fail or pass this. It's right up here, right? Yeah. Okay, it's on the way. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Ooh. Revelio. That was easy. I'll take that all day long. And it was on the way. Oh, this beasting is going to be cool. I might have to stream something like this. 
Revelio. Beast questing. I right, but when the clouds are dark is always the best time to strike. What? As if nature herself lends a veil beneath which to orchestrate one's treachery. I think I heard something. Bridge Descender! Expelliarmus! Accio! Bridge! And forever! I'll get that goblin gun back. Hopefully by rummaging your corpse. Held your own for a while now, haven't you? Oh, wrong thing. was not nothing. Descend on at least give it a bit of effort. Afraid to take a hit, are you? Good bringo! No! Thought you had me there. Was that just an attack of some sort? Oh. If it isn't Nora Treadwell's precious little gun. Levioso. Sendio. Sendio. Oh, too hard. Sendio. Levioso. Damn it. Bring it, Sendio. Sendio. You cannot avoid your fate forever. Levioso. Okay. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Ooh, we're moving up in the ranks. Revelio. Just checking. Oh. We, my friends, have been really getting unlucky. If you watch some of my past videos the past couple times. I know we've gotten some loot that's been okay, but we have gotten un we've gotten a lot of loot that is just like sell it. Revelio. All right, it's this way. Uh, let's go. Ooh. Oh, I shall enjoy this. Let me go, sir. Incendio. Oh. Descendo. Accio. Expelliarmus. Good for you. Are you done? Revelio. Alright, I keep wanting to mash the button all the way down, but you just need to tap it. I gotta get better. See, look, I'm getting crappy loot. And we don't want crappy loot. We want good loot. So, yeah, I'm really... Uh, down with this mission because I'm an animal guy. I have two dogs. I love it. And with those Slytherins hurting that uh, beast when we did beast class, no, not on my watch. And they said poachers, no, let's get them. I know we're kind of poaching creatures, but we're trying to save them. So I guess that's going to be the thing. Like, if they're poaching, we're probably going to try to. So I heard there's breeding. So I'm assuming that if they're poaching, we're gonna try to um what we say, repopulate. Revelio. Huh. No, just making Wow, look at that view. No photo mode. Nope, there's no... I've been through this menu. There's no freaking photo mode. They should put a freaking photo mode in this game. Look at that. Sh Deke, my man. What's up? Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? 
Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts, or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income, to be used for potion ingredients and labor, and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. So you want to help beasts? All right. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more <coughs> elusive me. beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, so I totally forgot what he said to do in the beginning. I was so focused on his story. Locations in the world, wherever there is a beast habitat, you can be sure to find a magical beast. Okay. Levioso. Right, which one did I just catch? Professor Howell will never believe this. Let's go. Let's go. I'll look after you. Oh. Where are you? You're hiding from me. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Come on. Levioso. Get over here! There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. This is getting a little bit easier. Any more? Sorry, Deke. I'm. This is just awesome. Revelio. Whoa! I saw you. Ooh, there you are. Okay, that was awesome. What? Was that whispering? I did not know you could do that. <laughs> Sick. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes <clears throat> your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Oh, 
Uh, why don't you take me with you? Revelio. Ooh. Hold on. This is new. I've always said that nice. broadens the mind. Hey, this looks like poachers have been here. Deke, what's going on? Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So Unfortunately, oh. unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Uh, let's rest, shall we? Yep. We need night time, baby. Oh my, I want one. Get over here. Okay, you're three times. Settle yourself. I mean, you know home. Okay. Sick. I'll look after you. Let's go. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. They dance? Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Um. Why don't you take me with you? What the? Jeez, oh, Pete's. First and foremost. Niffler. No, we're going to go back to the room. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yep. Let's meet Deke. We've got to figure out what to do with these things. I guess the nap. I'm going to guess the knapsack has a nab sack. Sorry. Has a. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. They have a new home? Here? But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the <laughs> room will provide. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? <laughs> Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. What is this? 
hold on before no i'm gonna do this gotta keep him going This is a small one, right? Yep. Down here. This should be ready. Perfect. All right, let's go, Deke. What's this? <coughs> this is Look awesome. This. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Tap R1 to open. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now what? Oh. <laughs> oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Awesome. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Awesome. Uh, nurtured, they provide materials. Your beast feed and beast petting brush. Nurture your beast. Okay. Oops. Right, we're gonna do this because we gotta do most excellent. Oops. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, I get used to this. Okay. 
This is cool. I've collected some magical materials, right. Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. What? I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> Man. Everything's all right now. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. This is just so awesome. There's like moon rock and stuff in here. What? Rebellion. Okay, they're all magical. Dude, this is sweet. Oh my god. This is awesome. So what's with this loom? Is this how I'm gonna be able to get traits into my What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. Okay. Get rid of you. No. Uh. This way. All right, I'm going to put you. Okay, you're in the utility, huh? Up a little bit. I'll do here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now, what does this do? Oh, what? Okay, wait a minute. Gear features one primary offense or defense step by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued these tends to a okay <clears throat> first and foremost we're gonna see this what gear do I not have traits applied to my hat which is 
All right. And wait a minute. My hat. I saw a number. All right, number one. So does that mean I can only apply number one traits to it? All right, we'll go from there. Um, this one. Ooh. Ooh, which one do I want? Okay, so I was right. It has to match up. Uh, we'll do this one. I need one pop. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So now Deke will talk with us. Oh, there he is. What did you ask me to do with my magical materials? Use the spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Then you'll be able to weave your magical materials into your clothing. Come back to Deke once you've enhanced a piece of clothing. I just did, didn't I? Did not that oh, okay. Okay, you level one. Okay. Nicely. I should show Deke. Okay. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Yes, Why I did. I will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. 
Yeah. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. Kind of over overwhelming, not gonna lie. Uh, so, haha. <laughs> what we've known and loved to be Hogwarts has just expanded into a Pokemon style game. We get to collect magical creatures and feed them and pet them and... Come here. Oh. No. No. We got that. Alright. Come here. <laughs> this is awesome! I said to explore this? What? Oh. Okay, so now, here's my question, can I, oh, I can. All right, so, I did buy some things at the store. No. Aha. Here we go. Boom. Boom. A breeding pen? We can breed these things? Oh my gosh. Oh, we are so in like Flynn. Oh, this is awesome. All right. So we got our beast area. And we can find more. All right, I'm so happy. And we're going to cut this episode here. So until next time, peace.